In this video, I will be discussing western bean cutworm, and more specifically, how to search for larval injury in field corn as the corn matures. This video was shot in late August when the corn was beginning to dry. It will show how you can look for injury directly on corn. The first example shows a single shot hole made by a larva entering the corn through the husks. This hole is typical of what you might see. When seeing this, you can pull down those husks to reveal the larval injury. In this case, there is feeding near the tip of the ear. A close-up shot shows the kernels that are missing from that ear. Obviously, having much of this injury across the field could lower your overall yield. The next example shows multiple shot holes with a large hole in the middle of the ear. Upon pulling down the husks, you can see major injury below that ear with a misshapen ear of corn from that point on. There is also further injury at the tip of the ear. The final example shows a situation where multiple larvae have entered an ear of corn. Remember that western bean cutworm larvae are not cannibalistic like corn earworms. Thus, you can often find more than one larva per ear of corn. Pulling down the husks, you can see the injury to this ear although it is not as bad as expected based on the number of shot holes. However, note the smaller size of the ear. When pulling down the husks, you might be able to see an actual larva feeding on the ear. On this larva, note the two dark marks immediately below the head. This photo shows a close-up of a western bean cutworm larva where you can easily see the dark markings. Going back to the actual larva, we can stop the picture so you can better see these markings. This is the best way to confirm an infestation from the western bean cutworm. For more information on the western bean cutworm, or any other field crop insect for that matter, go to our Agronomics Crops Insects website at the address shown on the screen.